Happy Tuesday, everybody. This is Eric in the Card Closet. Thanks for joining me. Been a long time since I've had a joy of a completed set video, but if you were watching my Com C reveal a couple videos back, you saw that or you heard that I completed another set. So I'm going to dive into that today. First of all, though, in honor of Episode 377, we're going to have a visitor watching in with us today. A man with 377 career home runs. Good for, tied for 77th place on the all-time list with Norm Cash. That's Mr. Jeff Kent. Here's his Topps Rookie Cup from 1993. Kent had... Over 1,500 RBIs, 290 batting average, 2,400 hits. He is admittedly a uh, borderline Hall of Fame candidate in my book. He uh, really got it done and uh, would like to have seen a few more numbers on his stat line, but he only played 17 seasons, so, you know, he's... Didn't, he had a slow start, didn't actually make the majors until he was 24 years old. You know, if he could have played 20 seasons, he might have hit a couple more of those a little bit better numbers. Um, but uh, Jeff Kent joining us for episode 377. All right, so you maybe are getting the hint from the original 1977. 77 is the number of the day, isn't it? 77. Star Wars glasses, originals from Burger King. I remember getting these as a kid. They came with a with a plastic snap-on lid and a hole for the straw. And uh, we were fortunate enough to keep these over the years. Um, my mom had them all packed up nice and a few years back told me to uh, take them if I wanted them. And I've showed them before, but I thought another 77, 1977 Topps Wonder Bread set. I thought while showing this set, we'd have a little Star Wars display going on. So I have showed the Topps Star Wars set from 1977 before. Completed that in the last year or two. And it was while completing that set that I decided I had about half of these Wonder Bread cards and I thought, you know what, I'm going to I'm gonna get the rest of them. The condition is just like I had them as a kid. And because of that, I decided the ones I needed to pick up yet, I would try to match the condition of what I already had. So it is a 17, 16, sorry, 16 card set. Card number one is Luke Skywalker. Holding the stick of the of the uh, Tuscan Raider there. Notice how they didn't put the numeral one, but they spelled out one. So there's Luke. Card number two. Obi Wan Kenobi. Again, the number is spelled out 2 W 0 O. <laughs> These were in loaves of bread, Wonder Bread. And I remember at the bread store trying to peek through the packaging to see what card was in the loaf that we were going to buy. Here's Princess Leia. Carrie Fisher and passed away a year or two back now. So I'd try to peer through the packaging, which wasn't always easy on Wonder Bread because there weren't a lot of clear spots. And there was one card per loaf, and I'd try to manipulate the card and move it as best I could over to a clear area and see what was in there. Here's Han Solo, card number four. And uh, this was owned by somebody named Chris. I don't have any family members named Chris. 
but I do see a B down there. So at one point this was owned by my brother and maybe he had traded a friend named Chris. He actually did have a friend named Chris now that I think about it. That's card number four. Card number five is my favorite one. Darth Vader. The evil villain, of course. Card number six. Governor Tarkin. Now that I've watched all the Clone Wars, I realize that Tarkin actually had a lot more to do with the history than uh, you would get out of Episode 4. C-3PO. See how they spelled it? S-E-E. -E, 3PO. And episode eight. I love how they spell this one out too. R two D two. A R T O O D E T O O. <laughs> I don't think they did that for very long. I think they <coughs> got right to the R two D two pretty quickly. Here's one I picked up in that last Com C order to complete the set. Chewbacca. Not sure why I never got that one. Again, these are 1977. I was six years old. I remember seeing Star Wars in the theater. I've seen all nine episodes in the theater, plus the extra ones. Jawas. Got a card. Card number 10. Tusken Raider. You find out a lot about them in the Book of Boba Fett series. Lots of background on them. Carrying that same stick that Luke is carrying there. Probably the very same prop. Stormtroopers. Didn't know in 1977 that they were clones. We are on to card 13, and this one's got some glorious tape on it. Right up the left-hand edge. Looks like this one was also owned by my brother at one time. And also by somebody named Mark. He left his mark on that card. And then the last three cards in the set are ships. So we've got the Star Destroyer. These were originally the ships used to fly the good guys around during the Clone Wars, and then it became bad guy ship after Order 66. Here's X-Wing flying over, I guess, the surface of the Death Star. Very cool. And last but not least, TIE Fighter, Darth Vader's ship. Card number 18. Not sure what TIE stands for. If you know what TIE stands for, please let me uh, know in the comments. So that is the 1977 Tops. No, I'm sorry. 1977 Wonder Bread Star Wars set is in the books. Take care, everybody. Talk to you soon.